we are going to pray from the book of Jeremiah chapter 10 Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 11 says thus shall you say unto them the gods that have not made the heaven and the earth shall perish from the earth and from on this heaven the Bible said they shall perish I want you to raise your right hand to the heaven as you shout this prayer the power of idol can you please shout it loud and clear assign to enter my blessing here to now can you shout it loud and clear? Uh-huh. Cast fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray the prayer. Every power of idol assigned to end of my blessing into this service. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to raise your right hand and pray the final prayer. Like Say, Oh God, arise. And we pray our Lord today. Fight for me. And lift up my head. Oh God, arise. Fight for me. Lift up my head. In the name of Jesus. Hope you have a prayer for you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are ready to praise God this evening, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.
Jesus, you will clap your hands if you love my Jesus. You will know him better if you love my Jesus. You will love him more. Oh, my brother, sister, let us live in my Love my Jesus, you will know it better. If you love my Jesus, you will know me the more. Oh, my brother, sister, let us live in my
have been blessed and are delighted to share their testimonies with you once again. We know you'll be blessed as you listen. The first testimony is this. Praise the Lord. I thank God for saving me from collapsing and death while exercising. I almost lost my consciousness when I overexerted myself. I drank my anointed water and was restored. Secondly, I thank God for delivering me from high blood pressure and chest pain. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. The next testimony is as follows. I want to bless the Lord for hearing and answering our prayers. Before I joined the water of fire service, anytime I sat down in my room, some pigeons would gather and start to make strange noises. After Dr. Olukoya prayed on the water, I used the water meant for our environment and sprinkled it all over the place. Since then, the birds don't come again. Praise God. Hallelujah. The next one says, Praise God. During the great physician hour, God healed me of a sharp pain in my stomach. He delivered one of my daughters from an attack as well as another daughter from patches that she had all over her body. God has also been fighting our battles as a family. Hallelujah. Now this testifier is from Spain and says, I want to testify of God's goodness. My right eye was very itchy and red. I thought it was an infection. Then it became worse. So I used one of the bottles of water from the water of fire palm exchange hand service on my eye. Lo and behold, the following morning, I looked in the mirror and the eye was clear. No more itchiness or redness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The next testifier is from Zambia and says, I had a skin disease that started from nowhere, which made me scratch certain areas of my body whenever I sweat and caused a rash. To the glory of God, when I joined the Great Physician Hour, and Dr. Olukoya said that we should smite any area that needs healing 21 times. I did and experienced a turnaround. That night I slept like a baby and the following day, till date, I have not scratched my body. I thank God for his grace upon Dr. Olukoya. The next testifier says, I want to praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for his wonders. One month ago, I dreamt of seeing my menstruation and prayed concerning it but it suddenly ceased. I had been participating in all the online services and whenever Dr. Olukaya asked us to smite wherever we had pains or infirmity, I smote my abdomen in faith. After three months of waiting, praying, believing God for his wonders, he finally did it. Praise the Lord. And secondly, I thank God for exposing the wickedness of my father's house. God has been fighting our battles and he is still fighting it. Surely the Lord is in this place. Thank you, Jesus. The next testifier says, I want to thank God Almighty for showing himself in my situation. I was looking for my green card and social security card for a job opportunity that I got. I searched everywhere, but I could, still couldn't find them. The devil wanted to discourage me, but I prayed against spirit of heaviness and discouragement. After a man of water service, I changed my prayer point to Holy Ghost, come upon my life, power of the Most High, overshadow my life. After a few days later, I tried searching for the documents again, and the Spirit of God told me to pray the same prayer point. So I prayed for an hour with that prayer point. Afterwards, I started searching again, and God directed me to where the documents are. Praise God, hallelujah. The next testifier is from Abuja, Nigeria, and says, I want to bless the God of Elijah and return all the adoration back to him for what he has done in my life. Since I joined MFM, he has been my shield and buckler. He has been my everything and has been performing miraculous wonders in my life and my family. I relocated from Lagos to Abuja in 2011, and ever since, I had been moving from one house to another due to problems with the landlord and other people. This became so bad that within nine years, I have stayed in up to six houses and was asking God when all this was going to end. This year in January, when Dr. Olukoya asked us to pay our first fruit offering, I did. 
and ask God to use this first fruit offering to give me my own house and stop my moving from one house to another. I told him that if he could do that, I would give him all the glory and testify of his mercies. To the glory of God, God answered my prayers and I am no longer a tenant. I have my own house in Abuja. I return all the glory to the God of Elijah, the God of MFM and the God of Dr. Olukoya. Praise the Lord. And the next testifier says, I noticed something moving on my forehead from left to right and had several pimples. When I applied the man of water on my forehead, the movement stopped and the pimples miraculously disappeared overnight. He healed me from the arrow of the enemies. I also thank God for healing my nephew of convulsion. After giving him the water of fire, the sickness stopped. All glory to God forever. This next testifier says, During this lockdown, my husband was suddenly unable to perform and it remained like that for about a month. We were worried, but continued crying to God for healing. After one of the great physician hour programs, his performance was restored to the glory of God. This next testimony says, One day, I started feeling pain in my heart region. I was very concerned because my mother has been battling with high blood pressure and an enlarged heart condition for years. My husband and I continued praying on it, using anointing oil and the water of fire and connecting to the online services. The Lord in his tender mercies healed me during one of the water man services. Praise God. And this next testimony says, One night, I slept off after vigil and was woken up by a pain on the right side of my lower abdomen. I didn't want to wake my husband, so I started praying silently in my mind. I rebuked the spirit of infirmity, sent the arrow back, destroyed every plantation and deposit of infirmity. Then, I asked the Holy Spirit to sanctify my body because it is his temple. After the prayers, I remained awake for some time and didn't know when I slept off again. But I woke up this morning without any pain in my body. I thank the Lord Almighty for the wonderful things that he has done and for the many more he will still do for us in Jesus' name. This next testifier says, I am testifying to the glory of God and to put this devil to shame. Firstly, my mum was attacked in the dream during the lockdown and couldn't breathe very well. She told me and we listened to one of Dr. Olukoya's messages on YouTube about sending the evil arrows back to the sender. After the prayers, she was totally healed and the evil arrows returned to the senders in Jesus' name. Amen. Secondly, my sister was tested in the office and the result was positive of COVID-19. But after serious prayers during the Great Physician Hour and other services, when she went for her next test, the results were negative. Glory be to God. I also want to appreciate the God of Dr. Olukoya for what he has been doing in my life, my family, my business, and for making me a blessing to those around me. God has miraculously turned my business around for the best and opening the heavens of my business and that of my siblings. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. My testimonies are permanent in Jesus' name. This next testifier says, I give thanks to the marvellous God that we serve in MFM. Last year, I started seeing changes in me. I suddenly lost a lot of weight, my clothes became too baggy for me, and I couldn't breathe normally. I went to the hospital, but all the prescribed medications did not work for me. This year, it got worse. I didn't have the strength to talk or to walk. It was as if there was no life in me anymore. My dream life even became a battlefield. All my dreams were about death and it got to the point that I was afraid each night to go to bed. God used his servant, Dr. Olukoya, to deliver me when he mentioned my case in the Great Physician Hour program. Today I am free. I've gained weight again. I can breathe normally and can walk. Praise the Lord. This next testimony reads, I just want to thank the Lord for saving me from blindness while producing soap. The acid I mixed with water in a rubber can suddenly came out and landed on my eyes. I then experienced a sharp pain. 
I thought I had gone blind. I was shouting Jesus and my children were crying. I quickly took my water of fire with my eyes closed, poured it into a bucket, knelt down, opened my eyes with my face in the water for a few minutes. I didn't suffer from blindness and had no burns in my face. Praise the Lord. If you would like to share your testimonies with us, kindly send them to our WhatsApp number plus two three four seven zero four two nine one three five three eight or you could send them to our email address testimony at mountainoffire.org thank you and god bless you god bless you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ this is your friend in the school of prayer and deliverance daniel Ulukoya. you are most warmly welcome to this broadcast it is well with you in the name of jesus Glory be to the name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I sing this song loud and clear. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy is never come to an end. They are new every morning. love that steadfast love of the Lord never ceases His mercy is never come to an end they are new every morning new every morning great is thy faithful this garden of your children we thank you for the mighty wonderful things you have been doing in this broadcast we give you all the glory all the honor and all the adoration father accept our thanks in the name of jesus father lay your hands upon us do great marvelous mighty and wondrous things for us in jesus name we pray amen 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 beloved we are looking at what I call the greatness clinic. We should deal with secrets of greatness. The greatness clinic. And I'm going to read two scriptures very quickly. The first one is in Psalm 71, verse 21. Psalm 71, verse 21. Say, Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Can you say that three times? Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Amen. And in the book of Mark chapter 10, Mark chapter 10 from verse 43 to 44, Mark 10, 43 to 44. It says, But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you, whosoever will be great among you, shall be your minister. 
and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be the servant of all. What kind of deep words are these from the Lord? The present position you are, beloved, is the key to your future. So you own the key to your future in your hand with your present. You use what you have now to get what you need in your future. The keys that God has placed in your hand now, use it to get what you need in your future. What you have now is the seed for that which you will become. That which is your hand now, that, that which you have now is the seed for what you shall become. Greatness does not usually begin great. The Bible talks about not ignoring the days of little beginnings. Greatness does not usually begin great. If you despise little beginnings, you will never become great. Despise little beginnings and you will never become great. Jesus taught his disciples that the way to become a master is in becoming the servant of all. A little person who is diligent, a little person who is diligent will not remain small, but will later become great. Will later become great. In Luke chapter 16, verse 10 to 11, Luke 16, 10 to 11. He that is faithful in that which is least, is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least, is unjust also in much. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous man, who will commit to your trust the true riches? God will not give you your own if you do not prove yourself reliable while you are serving under others. Let me say that again. God will not give you your own greatness if you do not prove yourself reliable when you are serving under others. God sometimes in his wisdom makes a personal apprentice under somebody before he becomes a master himself. That period of your apprenticeship is the gateway into your future whether of greatness or smallness. Many have been employed to work, but they do it with a lazy attitude. They do it with I don't care attitude. Work hard, they say, no, I will work very hard when it is my own. It is a wrong strategy, you will never become great. You will never become great, behaving like that. You will never increase if you reject your starting point of little. If that little starting point is something you are neglecting, you will never become big. The seed of your future is your present. Please try to understand this. I want this to sink into you very well. The seed of your future is your present. Your future greatness is in the little you have now. It takes a little key to open the door which leads to a great house. When God gives you five talents, He's merely telling you that your proper place is among those who have ten talents. If He's proposing your end point as four talents, He will start with two. He will only give you two and expect you to use your two to find the other two. But if He has given you five talents, it means that your position is actually ten. The man who despises what he has because he expects much more we lose even what he has. He's looking for much more, so he's despising what he has. He will lose what he has. Beloved, do you want to be great? Your career, your ministry, and what you are doing, begin to be diligent with the little that you have now. Begin to be diligent with the little that you have now. You wish to become your own master in future, then be a faithful servant now to those you are serving. In every life, beloved, 
there's a deposit of greatness in every life there is a deposit of greatness the deposit can be stolen it can be destroyed it can be ignored it can be abused it can be perverted it can be suffocated it can be wasted it can be exchanged it can be transferred for joseph that deposit was the gift of dreams that he had unfortunately that deposit was ironically the beginning of his troubles but it was that deposit that promoted him eventually it was that same gift which promoted him to prime minister your key to greatness may sometimes chart your course through crisis until it brings you to glory Rehab, the positive of greatness was her hospitality. She was hospitable to those spies. Daniel, the positive was prayer. Samson was his strength, which he of course abused. David was his ability to play the harp. Peter, his drawing to destiny was his trade as a fisherman. We need to grow in desperate prayer in order to know your own key of greatness. You need to know the deposit of greatness programmed into your life. If you don't know that, you really don't know anything, and you are far from greatness. Do not throw that key of greatness away in trying to use another man's key. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't spy from the examination sheet of others, because you don't know what questions they are answering. You are programmed to be great. You are to pray and identify your own key of greatness. And this is a very, very serious matter. I'm praying for you that the buried greatness of your father's house shall resurrect your life in the name of Jesus. The almighty God whom you serve shall over answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. By the Buddhism power of God, all obstacles on your way of greatness shall die in the name of Jesus. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, God shall arise in your situation and bless you to a mighty degree. Even if you have placed your hand on the program of failure, the power of God shall take your hands off that program in the name of Jesus. Any vulture of your father's house planning to feed on the carcass of your destiny shall die in the name of Jesus. Every move of your enemy, no matter how clever the move is, shall bring you testimonies in the name of Jesus. The oil of greatness assigned to your head shall not be dried up by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. You will move from strength to strength and from glory to glory. The enemy will not pull you down. Any power assigned to pull you down shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Any pattern of darkness that has enveloped you shall be broken, shall be broken, shall be broken. Any pattern of darkness that has enveloped you shall be broken, shall be broken. The deposit of greatness in your life shall manifest by fire. Whether the enemy likes it or not, the deposit of greatness in your life shall manifest by fire in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall make you to meet the right people at the right time in the right place in the name of Jesus. God will turn your worst time to your best times in the name of Jesus. Because of you, I decree that your family shall no longer know poverty in the name of Jesus. This year, you shall have greatness and uncommon breakthroughs. You shall have greatness and uncommon breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. You shall not struggle to be recognized. The power of God shall move you from strength to strength and from glory to glory. The son of your life shall not listen to the voice of witchcraft. And if they have put your life in the valley of witchcraft, I command your life to jump out of that valley in the name of Jesus. Your destiny shall command your circumstances. The power of God shall single you out for favor, shall single you out for honor. The Lord will go and do wonders where you don't even expect. He will over answer your prayer. The power of God that has no respect for stubborn problems shall swallow up any problem affecting your greatness in the name of Jesus. I decree today that every grip of darkness in your life is broken. Every grip of darkness in your life is broken. Every grip of darkness in your life is broken. 
the expectation of the Lord for your life shall come to pass in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Thank you, Jesus. There are 12 keys to greatness. And I want to go through these keys one by one. The first key to greatness is that you must find God. Find God. You have found nothing until you have found God. You need to surrender your life to Jesus and find God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Become a friend of God. Find God. Find God. It is good to find certificate. It is good to find other things, but find God first. Find Him first. Anything we are doing and God is not made the first always ends in trouble and disaster. Find God. Number two key for greatness is ensure that you marry the right person. Because this singular decision will determine 90% of your success or so. Ensure that you marry the right person. Because that decision will decide so many things for you. It is important that you understand this very, very well. Three, be forgiving. When you've been offended, forgive. Four, be generous. The children of the generous will never suffer. Five, have a grateful heart. Don't be in the company of ingratitude. Six, be persistent. Be persistent. Stick to what you are doing until success comes away. Have a rugged determination to succeed and persist. Seven, treat everyone you meet like the way you would like to be treated. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Treat everyone you meet like the way you would like to be treated. Eight, Commit yourself to constant improvement. Constant improvement. Commit yourself to constant improvement. Don't give up. Just continue to improve yourself. Nine, commit yourself to excellence and quality. Anything you are doing, commit yourself to excellence and quality. Ten, be loyal. Be loyal. Loyalty is very important for those who wish to be great. Eleven, be honest. Be honest. And twelve, be prayerful. Be very prayerful. Be a prayer person. Let me just add a few more to this. Let me add a few more to that. Thirteen, be holy. And fourteen, be a Bible addict. And 15, ensure that you deal with your foundation. Ensure that you deal with your foundation. Ensure that you deal with your foundation. Because if you do not deal with your foundation, your foundation will deal with you. Your foundation is your personal genesis. Deal with it. If not, it will deal with you. There are people who can learn a few things from in scripture, in the school of greatness. Uzziah was too successful to be instructed. Uzziah became so successful as a king that he presumed he automatically also merited the office of the high priest. He did what he should not do. He would not countenance any counsel. He forced his way into the holy place against all prohibition to offer sacrifices that he should not have done. So God smote him at once with leprosy. So that he himself knew that he had, he had to flee. He, he fled. The leper that he had become also made him to lose his right to the throne. The flourishing throne that had helped him has bloated him to his destruction. 
his son took over from him. God has made his point so strongly again that nobody takes the honor of divine office upon himself. And no man taking that honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. And made in Jerusalem, this is a was our engines invented by corny men to be on towers and building on the bulwarks. They shoot arrows and great stones without, and his name spread abroad, for he was marvelously helped. This is Uzzah, till he was very strong. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction, for he transgressed against the Lord, his God, and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. This is Uzziah. And as the the priest went after him, and with him, four score priests for the Lord that were valiant men. And they will see Uzziah. They will see Uzziah the king, and said unto him, It appertaineth not unto thee, Uzziah, to burn incense unto the Lord, but to the priests, the sons of Aaron, that are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary. They ask him to go out. For thou stress past. Then shall it be for thy honor from the Lord God. He was told. But his success that he had had got into his head, he did not listen. Then Uzziah was rough and had a sense in his hand to burn incense. And while he was wrought with the priest, the leprosy even rose up in his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord from beside the altar. And Azariah, the chief priest, and all the priests looked upon him. And behold, he was leprous in his forehead. And they thrust him out from there. Yet yeah, himself hasted also to go out because the Lord has smitten him. And Uzziah the king was a leper unto the day of his death and dwelt in a several house, being a leper, for he was cut off from the house of the Lord. And Jotham his son was over the king's house, judging the people of the land. This is a very, very serious matter. Very serious matter. God does not call us based on our feeling of natural endowments, but he endows those which he calls, like Ahuliab and Bezalel, to whom he gave skill and called them to the ministry of Christ in Exodus chapter 35 from verse 30. And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord had called by name Bezalel, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah. And they are filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, and to devise curious works, to work in gold, and silver, and in brass and in the cutting of stones to set them and the carving of wood to make any manner of cunning work and he has put in his heart that he may teach both he and Ahuliah the son of Ahisamak of the tribe of Dan them are too filled with wisdom of heart to work all manner of works of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroiderer in blue and in purple and scarlet and lining and of the weaver even of them that do any work and of those that devise cunning work God filled these people with power with knowledge, and he began to use them. Nebuchadnezzar 
came down from the footage to the jungle. In the of Babylon, God was gracious to give a 12 month notice against the traps of arrogance. He forgot the wording. One bright day, he mounted the rosum of his high rooftop and surveyed his achievements and began his speech himself, saying, By my own mighty power, I have built this beautiful city as my royal residence, as the capital of my empire. And it got into trouble. I, my, me, the words were still yet on his lips when he was chased from the palace into the jungle. Perhaps the beast will better teach him practical humility for a school term of seven years. On his graduation from the training, he said he had learned that all the people of the earth are nothing. He learned that all the people of the earth are nothing. On his uh, resumption of office, this was his speech. Daniel 4.37 Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven, all whose works are truth and his ways judgment and those that walk in pride is able to abase. The Kadneza, an example, Uzziah, an example. Samson, Samson felt to command him without God. Samson tragedy started the day he woke out of his sleep on Delilah's lap. He bragged in his palace and said, I will go out as a thousand times and I will shake myself. Again, I, me, mine. He did not realize that the Lord had departed from him. I'm praying for you and I'm praying for all you are hearing me now. When you think you are the one that have achieved everything, I, me, and begin to boast and brag. Remember, you brought nothing to this world. You take nothing out. There is nothing you are doing. That it isn't God that gave it to you. Samson shook himself as of other times and he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. So that he can learn that it's not of works, lest any man should boast. Miriam, the quarantine worship leader. Miriam was the sister of Moses. Who had been with Moses from the beginning. He had been the savior of Moses from the crocodile line. In, the, in those precarious tender days. Miriam had led Israel first worship service beyond the Red Sea, land the lesson the hard way through a week of leprosy and isolation. These are lessons for us to learn in the school of greatness. Don't boast about yourself. Give all the glory to God. The Bible says all these things were written so we can learn. Once that element of pride is in you, the element of I, me, I did this, I did that is in you, you are far away from the school of greatness and you are kissing greatness by bye, bye. Miriam forgot that Moses was a friend of God. Miriam spoke against Moses. By the time God appeared, God backed Moses up and disciplined Miriam. He told them, so come out of the tabernacle, all the three of you. And the three of them came out of the tabernacle and the Lord put lepros on Miriam. And Miriam had to be taken out of the camp so that they can learn his lessons. I pray that the Almighty will arise for your sake. That you know that all powers belong to God. And that the soul of greatness God is supreme. Any greatness you acquire outside the power of God will lead you into disaster, will lead you into trouble, and will lead you into what you will not be able to cope with when the punishment and the trouble comes. God told Mira that she had no right to speak against Moses and had to discipline her. 
Finally, beloved, I want you to know that the seed of greatness is in you. You need to follow those steps. I need to be cautious so that you don't go from grace to grass. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you have listened to me, and you are not born again, you have not become a friend of God, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, either way, I just bow down your hands and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take control of my life. As of today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. I have surrendered their lives to Jesus. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. And let them by your mighty power. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, arise. And let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. And let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise, let my story change to glory. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every vampire of darkness assigned against me, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Every vampire of darkness assigned against me, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Every vampire of darkness assigned against me, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Every vampire of darkness assigned against me, I destroy in the name of Jesus. Every vampire of darkness assigned against me, I destroy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every shrine assigned to bury my destiny, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every shrine assigned to bury my destiny, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every shrine assigned to bury my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every shrine assigned to bury my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every shrine assigned to bury my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every shrine assigned to bury my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every shrine assigned to bury my destiny. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I shall be a strong arrow in the arms of my God. In the name of Jesus, I shall be a strong arrow in the hands of my God. In the name of Jesus, I shall be a strong arrow in the hands of my God. In the name of Jesus, I shall be a strong arrow in the hands of my God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every imagination of destruction against me expire in the name of Jesus. Every imagination of destruction against me expire in the name of Jesus. Every imagination of destruction against me, expire in the name of Jesus. Every imagination of destruction against me, expire in the name of Jesus. Every imagination of destruction against me, expire in the name of Jesus. Every imagination of destruction against me, expire in the name of Jesus. Expire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O wind of death, targeted against me, Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Oh, wind of death, targeted against me. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Oh, wind of death, targeted against me. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Oh, wind of death, targeted against me. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Oh, wind of death, targeted against me. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Oh, wind of death, targeted against me. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, rottenness in my roots be healed by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rottenness in my roots be healed by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rottenness in my root be healed by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every handwriting of disgrace, you will not locate me in the name of Jesus. You handwriting of disgrace, you will not locate me in the name of Jesus. You handwriting of disgrace, you will not locate me in the name of Jesus. You handwriting of disgrace, you will not locate me in the name of Jesus. You handwriting of disgrace, you will not locate me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Vultures of disgrace, I sign against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Vultures of disgrace, I sign against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Vultures of disgrace, I sign against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Vultures of disgrace, I sign against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any problem assigned to overtake my life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any problem assigned to overtake my life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any problem assigned to overtake my life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any problem assigned to overtake my life, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every enemy of my greatness, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my greatness, I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so arrows have access to my blood, but fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows have access to my blood, but fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows have access to my blood, but fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows have access to my blood, but fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows have access to my blood, but fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows have access to my blood, but fire in the name of Jesus. But fire in the name of Jesus. But fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, oh God, arise and give me new testimonies in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and give me new testimonies in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and give me new testimonies in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and give me new testimonies in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and give me new testimonies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Killers of laughter. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Killers of laughter. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Killers of laughter. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Killers of laughter. I'm not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, generational battles will not swallow my dreams in the name of Jesus. Generational battles will not swallow my dreams in the name of Jesus. Generational battles will not swallow my dreams in the name of Jesus. Generational battles will not swallow my dream in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers are assigned to use my name to collect my blessing behind my back. Powers assigned to use my name to collect my blessing behind my back. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use my name to collect my blessings behind my back. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use my name to collect my blessings behind my back. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my name shall not agree with any satanic purpose. In the name of Jesus. My name shall not agree with any satanic purpose in the name of Jesus. My name shall not agree with any satanic purpose in the name of Jesus. My name shall not agree with any satanic purpose in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I withdraw my name from every environmental coven by the power in the blood of Jesus. I withdraw my name from every environmental coven by the power in the blood of Jesus. I withdraw my name from every environmental coven by the power in the blood of Jesus. I withdraw my name from every environmental coven by the power in the blood of Jesus. I withdraw my name from every environmental coven by the power in the blood of Jesus. I withdraw my name from every environmental coven by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every range of wicked counselors against me be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every range of wicked counselors against me be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every range of wicked counselors against me be frustrated, be frustrated, be frustrated, be frustrated, be frustrated, be frustrated, be frustrated in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The next three prayers. I want you to lose your temper in a holy manner and pray with reckless violence. Powers, I want me to repeat the failures of my father's house. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers, I want me to repeat the failure of my father's house. Die in the name of Jesus. Power that wants me to repeat the failure of my father's house. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every battle against my helpers, die in the name of Jesus. Every battle against my helpers, die in the name of Jesus. 
Every battle against my helpers, die in the name of Jesus. Every battle against my helpers, die in the name of Jesus. Every battle against my helpers, die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so battles are sent to amputate my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles are sent to amputate my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you for children who have joined this program, the Greatness Clinic. Father, every power assigned to push them down, I command the powers of this grace. Receive the power to arise and shine by the power of the blood of Jesus. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Time to pray on the tithes and the offering. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measure, praise them for you. Know, let it be the Lord of your children. Bless them to a dumbfounding degree. Lay your hands upon their lives. Prosper them in all their ways. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 After a short broadcast, there shall be a short live broadcast as some prayers. Make sure you join to that. God bless you, Jesus. Name. Then I shall be back to close the service and to usher you to the prophetic car. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I'll guess with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address the telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. MFM International Headquarters, Onike, Yaba, Lagos, in all its regions, zones, and branches of Lagos and Ogun State, respectively. Thank God for the safe reopening of all its facilities for worship services on 13 September 2020. It is important to inform the public that worship sections at the International Headquarters have now been streamlined to only two services. First service, 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Second service, 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Worshippers are expected to adhere to safety and prevention protocols of the use of fix masks, hand wash, and other use of sanitizers and temperature checks. Attendance of one section is sufficient for blessings. Worshippers at any other services are expected to leave immediately the service is over. However, it is important to inform all our viewers that the transmissions of our broadcast on MFM television and on all our online platforms will also continue for the benefits of members and worshippers advised by government to remain at home and countries where church services are yet to reopen. The MFM Ministries is happy to announce that the broadcast on Lagos Television will also continue. God, God bless, bless you Jesus in name. Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Ulukoya. I'm happy to announce to you that this powerful program, the Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry has been running for the past 28 years, is about to take place again. This program is the annual 70 days prayer and fasting. This program has brought uncommon breakthroughs to many. It has yielded powerful testimonies. It has put the gear of the enemy to the reverse position. It has brought phenomenal progress, outstanding progress to so many people. It has allowed God's people to key into the socket of divine acceleration. I enjoy you to take part in this program. This program will run from the 5th of October to the 13th of December. Then 20th of December is the annual Thanksgiving for the program. God bless you as you participate. I want to enjoy all Christians, whether you belong to Mountain of Fire, Miracles Christmas or not, to participate in this program. This is a strange year and we should pray strange prayers. That's why the title of 
This annual 17 days prayer and fasting is called the prayer battle. The booklets are available and will be on sale very soon. And they are in various languages. The program is very easy to do. Monday and Friday, you break your fast at 5 p.m. Other days, you break your fast at 2 p.m. The program for the fasting is in the booklet. The booklet gives you the instructions on what to do. In this booklet, you find the devotional hymns at the front, you find the prayers of praises and thanksgiving to follow. You find prayers for church missionary activities and Christian homes to be said every Sunday. You have the prayer for the nations to be said on Fridays. And then the actual program itself. The program is divided into 10 days of seven sections, making 70. We do it section by section. When you start the section, it gives you a scripture reading. Then it gives you a confession, a Bible confession, which you must memorize. It's part of the covenant of the program to memorize the Bible passage. For example, the first section here is Psalm 55, verse 22. It says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and it shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Then you go to the devotional songs at the front of the book. You do some praise worship by yourself. Then the prayers of thanksgiving too, they are at the front of the book. Then you start the prayers. And you do that every day. You can do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening, you can do it at night. Do it anytime that is convenient for you. But make sure you participate in the fasting. And if you would like to read the Bible through during this 70 days prayer and fasting period, there's a program to do that in this book, which you can follow. And it will take you through the Bible in, in 70 days. Also in this book, there is a program for vigils. The vigil from 12 to 2 is at the back of the book and in each section. The program has been structured in such a way that if you do it the way it should be done, you should be able to spend close to an hour before the Lord every day. And that will bring you a lot of benefit. God bless you as you join us in this wonderful program. Father, you ought to be there. 
Father, you ought to be there. Roger and roll. Let me oh. sing. Roll. Roger and roll. 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 Roger and roll. Roger and roll. Roger and I wanna go to heaven when I die. Roger and roll. Oh. Yes, yeah, sing a roll, roll, child and roll, roll, child roll, roll, child and roll, roll, child. I wanna go to heaven when I die. Roll, child and roll, roll. Once again tonight, lay your hands upon our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. As you open your Bible to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 13. We Ezekiel ori ketala. And we are looking at how to make the mystery of soul robbers. Adi tu anwa di kunja le mi. The mystery of soul robbers. At the two and one, the good and Ezekiel chapter 13. We Ezekiel Ori Ketala from verse 18. That is a Kijidini Ogun. If you are there, say yes. About to see Keruke Ben. Ezekiel 13. We Ezekiel Ori Ketala from verse 18. That is a Kijidini Ogun. And say, see we pay. 
Thus said the Lord God, Woe to the woman that so pillows to all am holes, and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people? Will you save the souls alive that come unto you? And will you pollute me among my people? For answer for barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that hear your lies wherefore thus said the Lord God behold I am against your pillows. Where is ye hunt the souls to make them fly? And I will tear them from your hands. And I will let the souls go out of your hands. Thus said the Lord God. 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 To make them fly. Please listen very, very carefully to the scratching of the surface of this deep message. The creation of man took place in three stages. Number one. The Lord formed man out of the dust of the ground. That is why no matter how much soap you use on your body, there will still be some germs on that body. That's why all the chemicals that make up man can be found inside the ground. So the first stage, you know, the Lord formed the man out of the dust of the ground. Are you following me? Stage number two, God now breathed the breath of life into his nostril. So the spirit was created. Then, stage three, man now became a living soul. That is, it was now a distinct individual. And this is a serious matter. Our spirit is that part of us that knows God intimately. It is God conscious. Our body is a container in which we live. It is world conscious. Our soul is the seat of our intellect. The seat of our will. The seat of our emotion. It is self-conscious. Man is fearfully and wonderfully made. But the real you is your spirit which is invisible to the physical eyes and can only be seen when one is in the spirit realm. It is amazing that dark spirits can summon a person's spirit out of the body. It is amazing that a person can be sitting down but it's gone. It's not there. They're asking questions. There's another spirit that is answering that question. And this is why some people fail sometimes woefully in what they should do. It's amazing. Sometimes, what some people refer to as dream, dream, dream. They, they, they're not dreams, but record of actual happiness in the spirit realm. 
That's why your dream life is your spiritual monitor. Spiritual monitor. All this screen you see here are monitors. So that dream life is like that monitor. It shows you what is going on in your life in the spiritual realm. God now gave that spirit a soul. The soul is that part of you which makes you an individual it makes you an individual with that soul you are now able to exercise your will can you lay your hands on your chest and shout this loud and clear arrows arrows Fire into my soul. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. With the soul, man is now able to exercise his will. When they say come, your decision to go, your will to go, determined by that soul. Sit down. Your decision to sit, to refuse to sit, it's your soul. Eat. You are agreeing to it. Big ba, lati je. I say you don't want. A big kosa kwe rara o fe je un soul. O konre ini. There are no two persons with the same personality or soul. Ko si eni o make it only that kono tapi o kono kono. The soul belongs to the spirit, not to the body. O kono wa yeti e minishe kisheti aguara. The body is just a container housing there. Aguara o kono je onto onwe lo to to be ready. When a man dies, ni ba ti eni o ba ku his spirit. Retains the soul. A mere act be upon a rule or his personality. A be a dare be any con. The will, the emotion, the intellect is retained. A fenure or conre, a missire. That spirit is the real you. A me only walk on confura. The soul and body. O con, a tia guara. They are tools to function as human beings on earth. A young one that my she said that be a will. Ninuenio, Ninuaye. So a person cannot function as human being if he doesn't have a body. Three new days she said that because she won't go get a be a new job and near guara. As a Christian. When you die, your physical body will be discarded and replaced by the resurrection body when Jesus returns. But your soul will go with your spirit man either to heaven or to hellfire. So that soul then is the central part of man within that soul is where you have the mind the source of knowledge and intelligence is there you have the heart the source of love affection consciousness is there you find the will which gives man the capacity to choose or to decide not to choose to act or not to act I used to follow me because I want you to understand where I'm laying the foundation. Laying the foundation. The Bible says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. So the centrality of the soul gives it a position of importance. Being in the center, it can swing to the right, it can swing to the left. Only if it's so true that the coffee is so sick. 
It may swing to the things of the world. It may swing to the things of the spirit. The soul is so important. That Jesus, Jesus said, what shall it profit a man? If he gains the world and loses his soul, there is a serious rage of darkness on that souls are now being robbed. Souls are being captured. Souls are being used. Souls are being manipulated. And many people don't understand it. That's why I say I'm just scratching the face tonight. And I will continue until a lot of people understand what we're saying now. When your soul has been manipulated, or is in the hands of darkness, anytime something good is coming your way, tragedy happens. And the road is closed. You'll be discussing in your dreams. And people will be hearing your conversation in real life. Something has happened to your soul. You know internally that by the way God made you, you really should be on the top but something mysterious is forcing you down the soul is in trouble you married the wife or the husband you married is now telling you every day this is not the person I married this is not the person I married something has gone on you never feel the power of the Holy Ghost moving in your body, in your soul, in your spirit. Something has gone wrong with the soul. The passage we read now is in the book of Ezekiel. What they call kashifs, they're amlets. They are what you call magic. That we call juju or anything like that. That's what they use there to carry the soul of a man away. You are always seeing slow, slow animals in your dream. Snails and tortoise. The soul is in trouble. You dream of being lost in a forest. Or in a market. The soul is in trouble. You dream that you are losing your way you cannot find a way before you wake up that's a problem or you dream that a second person that looks exactly like you I've seen the person looks just like you the soul is in trouble you sometimes wake up and feel lifeless and if somebody has drained your blood ah, the soul is in trouble you are married now but you cannot detach your mind from your former boyfriend or your former girlfriend the soul is already in trouble you find that your mind cannot focus on anything for a long time. Even during prayers, you cannot concentrate. <laughs> the soul is already in trouble. At any rate, once your will, your emotion, or your intellect are caged, there is a big problem. Seriously, big problem. There are strategies of soul robbers. Strategies of soul robbers. And one of the strategies is those things we have been hearing here. We call it 
satanic hypnotism they hypnotize people they mesmerize them make them lose their senses they hypnotize the person those people who are hypnotizing people what they are doing is to attack the soul and once they get that attack through the person becomes a zombie Zombie. They get into a bus. They begin to issue incantations. They begin to issue incantations. Every incantation is an invitation to demons to wreck havoc. I'm praying for somebody here. Any incantation that has ever been issued against you. For since you were born, I command the evil incantation to backfire. In the name of Jesus, this amen is not loud enough. A person enters the vehicle. Somebody speaks some words. And he cannot talk again. Doesn't know where he's going again. Doesn't have his senses again. And as he comes down, and so Kale comes down. I just so Kale. What is your address? Ebo ni ojule ere. Say number three. Eko ojule keta. Olobenla close. Ole opopo ni olobenla. Take us there. Oya mo walosibe. And you take them there. Ona si mo walosibe. Do you have jewelries? Oni onwo washo. Yes. Beni. Bring them out. Oya ko onja. You have money? Cholo wolo wo. Bring them out. Ko onja. They bring all these things out. Boku onko ya ko onja. After they have collected everything. Lei tomba si ba boku Tony. Then the ice cream. Nikba endu tuna odu ya wala. That's satanic. Hypnotism. Hypnotize and mesmerize. And rendered like a zombie. Not permanent. Temporarily to achieve their purpose. Temporarily to achieve their purpose. This is a very strange matter. And it's a matter you must listen carefully. You must listen very, very carefully. Sometimes it may be very dangerous to begin to fall asleep why you should not fall asleep. It could be very, very dangerous. So the reason I'm teaching on this now there is an epidemic of satanic hypnotism going on. And they capture people day and night. And men and women are going deeper and deeper and deeper into the occult world. Just like the Bible says, in the last days evil men and seducers they shall walk stronger and stronger stronger and stronger stronger and stronger they come to somebody's shop so we want to buy minerals how much is this? A loan. So so much. He buy any. It's okay. Oda. He gives the person money. Oh, fine. No, no. Give the person the bottle of soft drink. Oh, fine. No, no. Go earlier in the. Now say, bring biscuit. Oh yeah, mo biscuit wa. Bring biscuit. Oh, mo biscuit wa. Bring sardine. Mo sardine wa. Bring sardine. Oh, bring sardine. Bring bread. Mo bread wa. Bring bread. Oh, bring bread. They want love. Begin to order for things. Oh, bless. He pay you uncon. And and he says thank you. Oh, no, yes, you. Has disappeared. Oh, they yip bad. Oh, they low. And you did not take the money. Oh, they go. It's the satanic mesmerization, satanic hypnotism. All these people who are kidnapping people all over the place. Many of them are masters in satanic hypnotism. To use words and fetish power and magic to render somebody helpless. So hypnotism is an agenda. Where the inner man is 
caged. Many young ladies have lost their virginity like this. They said they are going to parties. If you are a young lady here, a young man, you are still roaming around disco parties, all these strange parties. I really pity your life. By the time they waste it for you, you become a miserable old man. Oh, what the Baba Rubo or miserable woman? All those places. The Bible said the dark places of the earth is full of cruelty. Any dance you are dancing and they, and they switch off the light. And they put dark lights. Your presence there is no longer required. What goes on in that darkness? You may call it having fun. But to them who know what they are doing. It's cruelty. Wickedness. Wickedness. You may think you've gone to enjoy yourself. That is what you thought. Into war rule up on those who were organizing it, it. they have a deeper knowledge One of what they want to do. Be to Don't you war rule Hypnotism is a satanic operation. Let you talk, Paul, when you are there. Oh, there is a satanic to take the soul and the body of another person captive. Let him more come at your guarded in your con. See, hypnotism is an agenda. Let you talk, Paul, when you are there. To demobilize the spirit man. To demobilize that person's spirit. You can't do again. Hypnotism is a power. They used to keep the spirit man in bondage and under control. I pray once again. Anyone. Anyone. That the enemy has hypnotized before. See your dirty tongue. And the agenda is still in your body. I clear it away by the blood of Jesus. And I declare upon all who are in this manner water program. That beginning from today. For evil or mesmerizing, shall fail. In the name of Jesus. Hypnotism is to satanically control the spirit of a person and to dictate to that spirit what he should do. Hypnotism. And this is a very serious matter. I've shared one like that with you here before. I was a young Christian many, many years ago. It wasn't long I came back from England. And I was invited to this wedding. Very interesting wedding. The wedding. It was between a man and a woman. The woman that was there was as big as from here in this pulpit to that place. Huge woman. Then the man who was getting married. Hello, sir. Yes, it's about half of that man. Sleep as half of this man. The wedding started. Will you take this woman as a wedded wife to love and to cherish till death do you part? Blah 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 blah. Oh, Agba, that's a more point. I don't bring that. Be your co-op. Be your worry. See, could you find any? The man did not answer. Oh, could you office? The woman answered. Oh, bring your office. I said yes, he will. Oh, the penny. Agba. All the question, the woman answered everything. Oh, could you bury it? Don't bury it. Oh, bring your office. And the funny pastor went on. 
wasn't supposed to go on, but she just went on. Do you take this woman as a wedded wife? The woman said, Yes, he will. He has no option. Yes, he will. The one they asked the woman, she answered everything. I was looking at them. Then after some time, they said, Let us pray for the couple. That opportunity was what I spent. And I tiptoed to him at the front. So, Mr. Man. You are getting married. Oh, she be you are not talking. Oh, sorrow. You are not answering any question. Oh, fizzy berry, coco. He said, Oni, old boy. I don't know how I get here. Me, I'm not being moshed. Debbie, by you. He has been hypnotized. What you? This may sound funny, but this was how some women got married. The man likes them. They don't like the man. But the man wants them by force. The man will use some power to hypnotize them into the marriage. Long into the marriage, they now say, How did I get here? I'm praying for somebody here. Not every snare of the fowler. Every trap of darkness. Search for your feet. It's a satanic technology to render a man to become a zombie in order to control him. This is a very serious thing. A boy of 25 has a girlfriend age 65. I said, what are you doing here? Is this your mother? I said, no. My girlfriend. Your girl what? It's your girlfriend. I said, no. So, but I, li I like it here. Yeah. She provides everything for me. I'm a fresh graduate. I have a jeep. I have a house. Why should I suffer myself? Why should I make myself suffer? I have a rich girlfriend of 65 years old. And old man of 75. He's seeking for a girl of 18 years to be his girlfriend. And the girl is agreeing because of money. She doesn't know that. Something has gone wrong with that. Hypnotism is the practice to subject the will of another person under another person's will. It's to tie down the inner man of a person. Some gender to make somebody a slave. And it's a practice of darkness. This weapon of satanic hypnotism is a very powerful weapon in the hands of ritualists and occultic people. And they use it seriously. And they use it to confuse people. Part of the prayer we are going to pray on this water today. If by any chance they confront you or you confront them, as far as you drink part of this water today, whatever they are saying, whatever incantation they are saying, will not prosper your life in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. 
rise to your feet with your bottle of water. And let your amen roar like fire and like thunder. As I pray now. Every man of water you come for now. Is going to be targeted towards a specific thing. Specific thing. So it's a pity. If you are missing these programs. Hold the water in your hand. And you know, and and let your amen roar like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus. Papa, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the water. Father, this man of water of tonight, let it become the water of protection. The water of power. The water of healing. The water of breakthrough. The water of fire. The water of power. When you drink this water, any occultic person that comes away shall fail. In the name of Jesus, let this water become divine tonic, divine antibiotics. Let it become the power that will disgrace every ritual killer. In the name of Jesus, Father, as many people as we drink this water tonight, every long term problem, let them be melted away in the name of Jesus. Anyone who drink this water, if any power tries to kidnap you, Tries to hypnotize you. Tries to mesmerize you. By the drinking of this water tonight, their weapon shall backfire. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Welcome back. God bless you in Jesus' name. Don't forget all our programs. As you follow them, the Lord will bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for this day and I thank you for your children who have joined this program. But I decree that your hand of fire and power will be upon them in the name of Jesus. You shall not know failure. Every imagination of failure against your life shall be destroyed. The Lord will move you forward in a new way. Your head shall be plugged into the socket of divine acceleration. Your head shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor. The Lord will bless you with blessings that money cannot buy. His glory and power will overshadow every aspect of your destiny. Your life will be a testimony to the glory of Jesus. Go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us share the grace and fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven go not killing Ida. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.